Hi, welcome. Um, I am Caitlin. I know that I was in contact with you for this event. Thank you so much for joining us and Blowfish Malibu for this exciting shoe painting event. Um, I'm glad that everyone received their shoes and their art kits. Um, and I'll just let the Blowfish team take it away from here. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Allie. So I am the one that put together those boxes you all got. So if you all, you all have a pair of shoes, right? You all have shoes to color and you all have a ton of markers, right? Okay, perfect. So I'm, like I said, I'm Allie. I am in charge of community events, social media, um, basically doing everything that's like facing the brand or facing the people, which is really fun. So I get to plan all these fun events, which is like the best job ever. So I'm really excited to get to do this with you guys tonight. Um, I'm going to let Karen introduce herself really fast. Hi everyone, I'm Karen. I'm here in this bluish kind of colored square. So I work for Blowfish Malibu and I head up the marketing department. So I work with Ali. I just wanted to introduce myself and wave and say hi. I'm gonna follow along with Ali and you guys today and try and do something creative with our shoes. Um, I wanna introduce Ashley and Nicole and Marcella. So there's a bunch of us from Blowfish Malibu today. So I'm gonna pass over to Nicole. Hi, sorry, Brooklyn's already drawing on her shoe, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm the art director, I'm Nicole, and this is Brooklyn. She's here to attempt to um, make a pretty shoe with us. <laughs> and let's keep going. There's two more people from Blowfish Malibu. There's a bunch of us before we start the fun stuff. So there's Marcella. Um, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself, Marcella. You're um, you're muted right now, but go ahead. Hi guys, I'm the graphic designer for our marketing department. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then finally, last but not least, and you guys are going to be playing with her creations. Ashley is Hi somewhere guys. on my screen. Somewhere. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ashley, designer here at Wolfish. Then so um, yeah. So that is Ashley, and she actually came up with some of the fun designs that Ali's going to walk you through today. Well, not some of them, all of them. So we'll be replicating some of the fun stuff that Ashley came up with today. So Ashley, so, um, feel free to jump in if we, we start. Oh, I will. <laughs> sure. um, okay, so I'm going to share my screen with everybody. So we put together a little video to walk us through this to make it really easy so you can see everything from a really close perspective. So can everybody see a video of two, two sneakers, a plain one and a colorful one? Thumbs up if you can. <laughs> okay, I see lots of thumbs. This is great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're putting together a really fun, Karen and I can hold it up, springtime sneaker. So it's going to be really colorful, really bright, and we really want you to do whatever you want to do to make this your special shoe. So we, this is just the idea, but you are very much encouraged to do, you're the designer right now. So we want you to go crazy on the shoe. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna actually start with this caterpillar guy on the side of the shoe. So I'm gonna press play on the video, okay? And then if you need me to redo something, just take yourself off mute and yell at me. So when you look at the video, you're going to see the two different shoes. So that's what it's going to be on the left. We have our white shoe. See, we're working on the caterpillar. So you're going to need your black marker. And what we're first going to do is draw a circle right by the eyelids on the inside of the shoe. So right in this little section right here, right where you see it on the, on the screen. Let's draw a circle. Does everyone have a circle? <laughs> okay, I see some good circles. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a half a circle underneath the big circle. And we're gonna keep these half circles going throughout the shoe. So we're gonna to go to the end of the shoe with the half circles. And you can look at the video for a reference. It's so quiet, everyone's working so hard. 
So does everybody have their little caterpillar? It's hard on these smaller size shoes. I know. <laughs> little baby so, shoes. Right now we're just gonna have, that. that's gonna be a shorter caterpillar. <laughs> Yeah, you've got the petite caterpillar. <laughs> so if you guys all have your little, the bodies are done, right? So what we're going to do after the body, if you're not done, just wave your hands and we can see you. You're not done or you are done. Okay, let's press play. I'm not done. You're all done. Okay, perfect. Okay, so watch the video. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw... We're gonna take a green, our green. So we're gonna have two different greens. There's a dark green and a light green. And we're gonna take the darker green and you're gonna, I'm trying to go at the same pace as the video. We're gonna draw two circles in the big circle and then color it in. Are they eyes? Yep, we're making little eyeballs. So do you guys see that in the video? So your green marker, and then you're gonna do your two circles and then you're gonna color it in. I may have colored in the eyes on accident. It's okay. <laughs> he can be he can be green in the eyes too. Yeah, my eyes are not the same shape either. <laughs> Okay. She's a little cross-eyed. It's, it's a confused caterpillar. Okay. And then we're going to keep coloring the rest of the body in green. Okay. So just keep coloring the whole caterpillar or you can make them a different color. If you don't like green caterpillars. You can make a pink caterpillar. <laughs> Sorry. I thought we were muted. <laughs> Brooklyn wants a pink caterpillar. So just keep coloring your caterpillar. You want pink caterpillar? Are you drawing a pink one? Let me see. Is anybody doing theirs different colors? Mine's boring and green, but I, I mean, he's traditional. We're calling him a traditional caterpillar. So you look at mine. Wow, look at yours. Oh my gosh, that's such a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Mean. Okay, so. Once everyone's done with their coloring on the caterpillar, hold your caterpillar up so we can see that. I see lots of caterpillars. Wow. Okay, perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give him some antenna. So those are the little things on the top of his head. So when you see in this video, you see how we're using the green and we're just gonna give him two little antenna at the top of his head. So now that now our caterpillars can hear. <laughs> so then what we're going to do after he has antenna, we're going to take a black marker again and we're going to give the little eyeballs and a smiley face. So where we have the little white dots, where we left the little white dots in his little face, you're gonna take your black marker and then just give him little pupils and then a smiley. If we're going too fast, let us know, okay? Oh, that <laughs> so we should have a little happy face. Okay. Does everybody have a happy caterpillar? Yeah, okay. So the next step, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the, where are we going on this? Okay, we're gonna do this sunflower <laughs> happy face on the back, so on the heel. So we're gonna do it back here. So you're gonna take your yellow and you're gonna draw a circle right smack dab in the middle. Is it the, the bright yellow? Um, I don't think it, it's up to you what, which yellow you want your sunflower happy face to be. So um, it could be a combination of yellows. You could do the orange. Here are the, like the, the sunny, sunshiny colors, if I can put it in the camera. So those are the colors I would say to aim for. 
but I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one. And then that's where you just put the circle smack dab in the middle. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create little petals. So we're gonna make little petals surrounding the circle. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to see in this video just because it you might be, one. it's a weird angle. You can show the one that, um, that was completed already. Yeah, so we can show you in here too. It's got little petals that are coming out from, his, from, the, from the circle, but you can kind of see it in the video. It's kind of like ovals that are coming out from the circle. And you're gonna wanna keep it within the panel. So you can see that there's almost like a panel on the back heel. And we're gonna try and keep it within that. Yeah, nope, did not keep it in the panel. <laughs> <laughs> not today. That's okay. Oh, good. Yeah, mommy. Yay. Okay. And then you wanna color those in. So while you're at it, just go ahead and color them in. <laughs> it's not every day you get to color your shoes. <laughs> okay. So has everyone created almost like a sunshiny flower on the back of their heel? So it's gonna look kind of like that. <laughs> and my, the video one is pretty messy. <laughs> Ooh, Nola, that one looks really good. I like that. You did a good job. Oh, there's another Allie on the call. <laughs> Hi, Allie. Nice to meet you. Okay, so once we have that, does everybody have their little sunflower on the back of their heel? Or close to it? It could be whatever you want it to be, really. This is just a guide. Got it. Good job. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is I took that same, the color I used in the middle, I just brought it and I used it to kind of add some dimension to the petals. So it just adds some shadow. Do you see what I'm doing there? If this makes no sense, just let me know. So just kind of pulling it in there so that way the petals look a little bit more 3D. So you can totally, that, that way you can see the, um, the difference between the different petals. Okay, and then we're going to take a pink. You won't be able to see it. Hold on, what color do we use? Okay, I'll just show you. We want to take the pink color, this pink, do you see it, this one? Almost like the hot fuchsia. And we're going to do two dots in the middle of the, the middle circle. So you're going to do like a dot. What, what color again? I, I didn't hold you. The pink one, this one, the hot pink. And we're going to do two dots. Do you see how I did that like that in the middle? Just two dots. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And then you're gonna take your black marker again and we're gonna draw a face. So the little pink dots are its cheeks. So you wanna do the eyes above the dots and a little happy face underneath. So it's gonna look like that. 
So we have a little happy sunflower on our heel. So it's almost like you're walking on sunshine. So cute. Oh, super cute. I see some really good ones in here. Those are great. Okay, so then I don't wanna rush you guys. So if we're going too fast, just let me know. We're going to move on and we're going to do the lines. So we're going to do some lines around the ankle of the shoe. Do you see these fun little dashes? So I used the orange and the yellow. So you want those two fun colors, but you can do whatever colors you want. I know you can be creative and choose any of your two favorite colors. So in this case, we are doing the yellow and the orange just because it looks like sunshine. But if you want to do a purple, if you want to do a pink, if you want to do a green, whatever is your favorite color, you can totally do your favorite colors in here. So you can see we're just doing diagonal lines around the ankle. And that was with the first color. And then we're going to go back in with the second color and then go into the empty spot and just fill that whole thing in like that. Is anybody doing a color that's not yellow? I started using pink. We chose pink, pink and yellow. Perfect. They're like the most sunshiny shoes ever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so when everyone's done with that, just you can wave your shoe around so we can see. I see a few. Ooh, I see some green. I like the green. Oh my gosh, Eleanor, you have so many colors. I love it. Okay, so we've got some good colors going on here. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're gonna make these clouds. So we're gonna do, you're gonna need to get your black marker. I'm lost. You're lost? Did Too someone fast. say they're lost? Too fast. Too fast, okay, go ahead, take your time. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? Ashley, what inspired this design? Well, we can ask Ashley that question. Yeah, right, guys. Honestly, I just did like spring, spring characters or clip art. <laughs> but yeah. It's fun. Yeah, I found some really cute um, clip art images that just followed that. I like the idea of making like a cartoon kind of shoe. I think it's fun. Yeah, the black outline makes it look really cartoonish the way you did it. I like it. They're looking really good, guys. I think we're going to have a bunch of shoe designers on their hands after this. <laughs> Ashley, gonna they're coming for you. We're all going to lose our jobs. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Watch out, Ashley. <laughs> right? Oh, someone, we see a name. Bria, does that say Bria? I love it. No. She's personalized. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay so is everybody ready for the okay. next step if you're ready put your thumb up so i can see okay i see more thumbs this time okay so we're doing clouds unless you've already colored it in which case keep going doing your what you're doing but with your black marker we're going to just make cloud shapes above the caterpillar 
So big fluffy clouds, you can do little clouds, you can do, you know, any kind like cotton candy kind of clouds, whatever kind of clouds you like. Fluffy, I'm going for fluffy. Fluffy is a good way to go. And they're gonna look kind of like that, almost like little sheep. Mine look like little sheep. <laughs> And this is a fun part too, because we get to color these whatever colors you want. So once you have your clouds, just color in each cloud a different color. What colors did you choose, Allie? Um, I don't know yet. I like the hot pinks. I'm a sucker for the pinks. I might go pink and blue, maybe yellow, all of them. What about you, Karen? What are you doing? I have gone for purple, orange, blue, and that's what I went. And then I just like repeated it. Oh, so you have like a pattern? Yeah. See, I've got, we've got a pink cloud and a yellow cloud. It kind of looks like Dr. Susie. <laughs> Blue. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I like the pink. Uh, you did a pink border around there, right? With so many artists. Is it normal if my child is more colored than her shoe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Brooklyn's fine with it. <laughs> I have a red cloud. I'm going to do an orange cloud too, I think. Those clouds look really good. And just keep filling in those clouds. I see so many talented shoe designs. Look how cute that looks. Oh my goodness, that's a perfect sunflower on the back of your shoe. Look how cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so we're still coloring our clouds. It looks like a lot of you guys are already done. Okay, so what I did next after this is I took my black marker again and in the empty spots, I just put in polka dots. So fill in the empty spaces with some polka dots. Just to fill it in and then we're done with that side. So is everybody done with the inside part of their shoe with the clouds, the caterpillar and the polka dots? Because mm -hmm. then we're, we're moving on to the bumblebee. So that's on the other side of the shoe. And we're gonna make this little bumblebee. He's so cute. Ashley showed it to us last week and we kind of went a little crazy for this bumblebee. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna create two, you're gonna do the antenna. So do you see how we're doing those little half circles? And then you're gonna do that. 
So look at the video. I just paused it so you can see it up close. So we're basically creating the head and his little antenna. And then you want to color in that head. So you want to just color this in. So it's going to be filled. So it's like the little black head and the, the antenna. Does everybody have this little face? Do we all have that? Mm -hmm. For everybody who's doing the bumblebee. And then what we're going to do is we're coloring that in and then we're going to do a circle so underneath that head we're going to create a little circle and then that's his body perfect Okay, so then what we're gonna do is you're gonna create the stinger because you know how bees sting. So what you're gonna make is a little triangle on the bottom of the body. Do you see that? And then we're gonna color that in. So it's gonna look like that. So we're almost done with the bumblebee. Cute, I see that's that one's coming along. Look how cute he is. Okay, so then what we're gonna take is that same black marker. We're gonna draw stripes throughout the body. Cause you know how bees are black and white or black and yellow? So it's gonna look like that. And then what you're gonna do is we're going to draw almost like a half a heart on each side. And then that's gonna be their little wings. So a half a heart or however you wanna make their wings actually. But we just did it like a half of a heart. So you can see just like one part of it. And then we put a line in the middle of the heart. So it looks kind of like that. <laughs> my, my bumblebee's a little crooked. That one is so good. Yours is so much better than mine. Okay, so then we're gonna take the yellow. So we're back into the yellow. And we're gonna color them in, but be careful because the black will bleed. So you wanna just make sure you get in the middle. So you're gonna have a little yellow bumblebee. Do we have some bumblebees? Look how good that one looks. Do you wanna, Karen, yours is great. Oh, you already jumped ahead. <laughs> I went rogue. <laughs> she went rogue. <laughs> oh, look at all these little bumblebees. These ones are good though, they won't sting us. So we're safe with these guys. Look at how cute. These look so good. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yours looks better than mine. Ashley, you really have some competition here. I know, everything looks so good. There's so many good bumblebees. Okay, so then what Karen did already is we're gonna create almost like a little trail behind the bumblebee. So like where his little flight pattern is. So we're just gonna do a bunch of dots in a fun little row. So it can be whatever you want it to look like, but it's almost like he's buzzing along. See how we did that? So it could be whatever you want it to be, but he's just flying through the shoe.
Does everybody have their little floating bee? So then we're gonna take, we're gonna do the little hearts. So you can see that we pulled pink and red. You don't even have to do hearts if you don't want to. We're just once again, filling in the space because we want it to be like a full pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're filling in with hearts, but you could do it with polka dots. You could do dashes. You could do, you could color it in if you wanted to. It could be whatever you want it to be. But if you do little hearts, we did red and pink and you can see that. So again, we're just filling in that space. So anything that's empty, we're gonna fill in with the little hearts. So we're doing, I'm doing red and pink, but you can do any colors you want to use. And then I took my black marker and I just filled in more of the empty space with bigger polka dots because I like polka dots. Mm -hmm. So I just filled in all of that extra space with more dots just so that way it looks really full. So you can kind of see what I did there. That looks so good. I'm so impressed with you guys right now. Look how cute that looks. So many artists. So good, it's so cute. Perfect. Okay, so I think we've all gotten our hearts that we've, you guys have finished two sides of the shoe. We're almost, we're like almost all the way done. So the next bit we're gonna do is we're going to move on and we're gonna start with the the tongue part of the shoe and then the, and the toe. So the tongue and the toe. So we're gonna start with the flowers on the toe of the shoe. Do you see these blue and purple flowers? So what you want to do is you wanna do three circles. So you wanna do one in the middle and then one on each side, a little bit smaller. Do you see how I did that? So our three flower, our three, the middle parts of the flowers. And then with the same black marker, you're gonna do the petals. So you're gonna do more circles around the flowers. And it's okay if it doesn't look like they fit because you kind of want them to overlap. So it's gonna look like a lot of circles. <laughs> But once you color it in, you'll notice the difference. <laughs> I promise. Oh, so that looks great. Okay, so it all kind of looks like that. It's just like a bunch of circles, but they're gonna be flowers, I promise. So then the middle circles that you colored, color those in yellow or orange, whatever color you want the middle of your flower to be. So in this case, I'm using yellow. And see, you can already start seeing the difference between the different petals in the middle of the flower. And then that middle flower, we're gonna color that whatever color you want. So those petals around the, the middle circle, I'm doing blue but you can do any color you want for that middle flower. See how you can, you can see it now? It's not just a bunch of circles anymore.
Karen, what color flower are you making? I have gone with blue and purple. Beautiful. Oh, we already have, ah, you jumped ahead. Oh, we have a full, we have a full nice. selection of flowers. I love it. We have flowers down here. I went for blue and purple. Looks great. <laughs> so then you're gonna color in the second flowers too. So we're gonna color in the other two flowers. You can do different colors. You can do the same color. I just would avoid using the same color you did in the middle because then it can get confusing. But if you do different color flowers, it looks like you've got like a little bouquet of flowers on your toes. <laughs> So we just have, it's just a toe of flowers. So for those of you that have already finished your flowers, we're gonna pull in some green. So take your greens and we're gonna create vines coming out of the flowers. So that way it's like more realistic. So if you take your greens, do you see how we're making little leaves? I see a hand. <laughs> Are you unmuting? Yeah. Um, I already did that when we were doing the flower. <laughs> oh, you already did that part. Okay, so you already have your leaves then, right? Okay, perfect. <laughs> So once I, I'm behind you guys now, you guys are like really artistic and, and ahead of me. I'm slow. So now we're going to do the ladybug which might be one of my favorites too. I like these little bugs. So remember how we did the face and the, and the antenna on the bumblebee? We're gonna do the same thing for the ladybug. So we're gonna do the two antenna and the little head. But just like that on the, on the, on the tongue, if you're gonna do the ladybug. I see a very cute dog. <laughs> and then we're going to do the body. So he's gonna have the same kind of body or she is gonna have the same kind of body as the bumblebee did, but we're gonna do a line down the middle and then kind of make the end of the line thicker and then do the three dots. So it's gonna look like that on the screen. So cute. And then once you finish that, cause you guys are really fast, you can color <laughs> it in red. So then take your red marker and we're gonna color the ladybug red. <laughs> so we're gonna have a cute little ladybug and the flowers. And then we're on the last part and then you guys are almost done. That one looks so good. I love it. That, that, yours looks better than ours does. How, how is everyone's ladybugs looking? Do I'm seeing some really pretty animals? ladybugs. Good. So cute. Cute. So much concentration. I love it. You know. <laughs> okay, so the last part is these flowers down the center. And so what that is, that's the tongue of the shoe and we're gonna color the tongue with flowers. So we're gonna do more circles like we did before. So we're gonna do four circles this time, not three. So do you see how we're doing it? One, two, three, four. And you can kind of do them so they're touching the edge. And then you're gonna color those in yellow or whatever color you want, it doesn't have to be yellow. Does everybody have their circles? Yep. I saw another hand raised. Do you have a question? Noelle? You got my name right. Yay. So I'm done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Well, that looks so good. So can I color the rubber or can I start on the other shoe? That you can do whatever you want. If you want to color the rubber, you can totally color the rubber. If you want to start on the next shoe, go for it. And you can create your own design on the other shoe. You don't yeah. have to do this one. I had a tie-dye idea to blend the colors. Oh, um, do it. You should try it. We'd love to see it. Yeah, if you start working on it, then you can show us before we are done with the call, okay? okay. So go ahead, start tie-dyeing it. I want to see what that will look like. <laughs> so for everybody else, I mean, if you want a tie dye, go for it. That would be really cool. But here we're gonna just do, finish the flowers. So with your black marker, again, they're gonna kind of overlap and that's totally fine. So you're gonna kind of create this like, like tunnel of flowers almost. And then each flower is gonna be a different color or it can be the same, it's up to you but it helps to differentiate them when they're each a different color. So I'm doing pink first. And then we did a blue flower. That looks great. Then we're going purple. What's everyone's favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? Blue. Blue? Blue is a good color. Light blue. Light blue? Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Those are all such good colors. Do you like like rainbow and tie-dye or do you like things to be a little bit more like toned down? Or do you want everything to be bright and colorful? Bright and colorful? I'm a calm kind of person. You <laughs> calm, you like it calm? So what I'm doing here is just filling in the empty space with more polka dots. So we're just gonna fill that in. Nola, did you have a question? Um, I'm already um, I'm already done with my shoe. <laughs> You're done. Everyone's so fast. Okay, so right now, right now we have 15 minutes left. So I want you guys to color the second shoe whatever you want. So what are you gonna do? This is the big. This is the big moment. Someone has asked. They would. They want to hear how to tie dye. I think Jenny said that she wants to learn how to tie dye. So I think today, um, I think it was Nola or Noel, I think they are just blending um, the colors together because they bleed a little bit on the shoes, but stay tuned because soon we may be talking about tie dye on one of our next, uh, one of our next um, events and calls. So stay tuned for that one, Jenny. You kind of read our mind with that um, and we'll probably be working on that soon but I think Noelle was just blending um, blending some of her colors together with her pens. I'm Noelle, Noelle do you want to show us what you're doing? How did you do it? Do you want to tell us? Yeah so I'm just going to make colors. So I'm just taking the colors and then I'm going to go upstairs in my room and grab some cotton swabs and a little bowl of water. I'm going to dip the cotton swab into it and then blend it. Oh my God, I love that. It's yeah. amazing. That sounds it fun. Should, it like kind of slightly fade together all over that the shoe. Cool. That's are so you gonna go and grab? Are you going to grab your cotton now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm stopping the share since now you guys are doing your own and I'm really excited to see what you're doing. I'm done with both of my shoes. Can you show us? Can we see what you did? This is for the first shoe. Oh my goodness. Look at the oh, tummy. I love, I love it. That. that looks so much cute. Fun. And oh. the second shoe looks like this. Oh my goodness. Oh, cute. Look at all those cute little stars. You're going to have to wear these and show everybody your talents, Bria. I'm going to. Yeah, you are. Because you're, you're, you're a shoe designer now. I love it. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. 
I, I, I love that. I love the rainbow too. Yeah, the, everyone's doing so much rainbow. I love all of the rainbow. Is anyone else done? Does anyone else want to show us? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, cool. Is that old blue? blue and green, I see. Oh, and all over. That looks cool. I do love it. Are you going to do the second one to match that too? Yeah, that's a good way to go, I think. I see Noelle is back with her tools. Hi. <laughs> Okay, cotton swabs. I'm excited to see how this works, Noel. <laughs> I think Ashley's taking notes. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm waiting to see this. <laughs> you're gonna, you're teaching the designer how to do this, right? And I'm gonna be a fashion designer, so I'm gonna do a design C. You Is that are. what you want to be? Yep, and I want to be it so much. For Christmas, my grandparents got me a sewing machine. <gasps> that's oh, awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> have you have you made anything with the sewing machine yet? Um, I actually made a doll skirt at my dad's old sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's so good. <laughs> okay, Noelle, we're gonna be on the lookout for you one day. Yeah. This is a Noelle original. <laughs> <laughs> Nola, how's your shoe coming? Good. My body is helping me design stuff. Oh, that's great. What are you doing both shoes differently or are you gonna do the same design on both? We're doing differently. Okay, I like that idea too. How's Allie doing? Allie, my my name twin. Um, I'm doing the same thing on the other one. You're doing the same thing on the other one. You got that's good too, because you kind of want sometimes it to be balanced like that. I love it. It's funny you have a name twin. I also have a name twin. My first name is Eleanor, and I see an Eleanor logged in here. <laughs> that is my first name also. Karen's actually my middle name, so we both have name twins in the group today. This is great. <laughs> it's fun having name twins. Allie, is your name short for anything? No, you're just Allie? You're lucky. I'm My full name is Alexandra and it's so long. And so, but ever since I was little, I've been going by Allie. So it's, uh, my parents should have just named me Allie to begin with. So your parents were smart. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I'm so excited you were able to color with us today. I won't keep you much longer just because I know that it's getting late. Oh, Noelle's showing us our creation before we log off. Her Noelle, creation. you are so good at this. It's coming out lighter like tie-dye is. I love it. So did you dip the cotton swab in the water and then dip it on your design? Yeah. Um... <laughs> so ah, okay. So take the cotton swab, just dip it in, and then I just rub it on the shoe. Wow. You know, I'm going to actually have to try that for my second shoe. Oh, it does. It gives it like a blended tie-dye effect. That's so cool. It comes out lighter and comes different colors. Nola's raising her hand again. Um, I'm almost done. You're almost done. Well, we're almost done. We're almost, we're almost done with the call. I'm so no, we're done now. We're done. You're done. <laughs> well, I'm so Fun. glad you guys tuned in. Those look so good. Oh if wow, I love this really rainbow cute. one. If the you guys can do me a pic I, if you guys can do me a huge favor, if you can take a picture in your shoes tomorrow, I just want to see you guys in them. I would love to see how you look in your creations. And um, let's um, have everyone show that you know. hold up your shoe, okay? We're gonna take a picture. You hold it up this one. Everyone hold up your shoe. Karen, can you take a screenshot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to show one at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Five. Got it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys all had a great time and that you made yeah. some really fun shoes, okay? <laughs> I had I had someone say they're not done yet. Who wasn't done? That's okay. You have fun. You can keep coloring after we log off. Yeah, I'm. I'm. St I have still. My, I have my second shoe that I'm now. I feel like I'm gonna attempt to tie dye with. Uh, yeah, with no, well inspired you, right? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're welcome. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone. Have a great afternoon or evening. Thank you, guys. Thank you, for Thank you so everybody. much for tuning in. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Anytime. We'll let you know when we do a tie-dye one, okay? Yes, definitely. And hopefully we'll meet you guys in person one day. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.